What is up XRP community? Welcome back to another video. It just popped open a Space Dust IPA. So if you guys are having a drink tonight, cheers to you guys. Let's get into it. So Gary Gensler and the SEC is failing. I have a few great clips I want to show about that. But first off, look at this. ComBank, I don't know who this is, but it's a bank, obviously, announces migration to the XRP standard starting November 2022. And look at this tweet. ComBank says, hi there. From November 2022, cross-border payments will start to migrate to the ISO 222 standard with all payments to be made and received using ISO 222 by November 2025. Cross-border payments will be greatly simplified as a result. I know one thing that greatly simplifies, makes them a lot cheaper, makes cross-border payments faster, and it also happens to be ISO 222. Um, there's a few coins. We have Algo, HBAR, XRP, Quant. Let me know in the comments what your favorite ISO 222 token is. This is an XRP channel, so we might be a little bit biased, but um, the times are changing, guys. And if this doesn't show you that the world is switching over to something that hasn't been used before, then I don't know what will. Now for a few things on the SEC's complete incompetencies. Okay, I'll, I'll lead with this one. Whether it was Jay Clayton or Gary Gensler, they told everyone in the space, come talk to the SEC and work out your deal. What people found out was there was no escape path. Once you come in and talk to the uh, SEC, you're in endless discovery. And at this point, it's really hard to see how the SEC hasn't engaged in selective enforcement. I mean, they were collaborating closely with the, uh, you know, FTX, with Sam Bankman-Fried, and so was the CFTC. Meanwhile, they're going after Kim Kardashian. Right. How, how is the SEC not doing selective enforcement? You had companies like Ripple who have been trying to talk to them for almost a decade now, trying to get regulatory clarity. And instead of the SEC, you know, it'd be terrible if they went after everyone, but they're going after very legitimate companies that a lot of people don't like in the space because XRP is a little bit more centralized. And this leads to this perfectly. Plan B, if you don't know him, is 1.8 million Twitter followers. And um, guys, follow me on Twitter. Links in the video description below if you use Twitter. I love to talk to you guys, so follow me on Twitter. And I also have a Telegram chat group. It's free. In the future, I'm going to charge money for it. But it's free. It'll probably be free for a while. So join the Telegram chat group if you like talking about crypto. So Plan B, he is a Bitcoin maxi. He created the stock to flow model. This is the model that correctly since 2010 Bitcoin inception, 2009, has predicted the price of Bitcoin during each bull market. In the past bull market, the stock to flow model kind of flopped. But bottom line is this guy has immense influence in the space. Plan B is known by all Bitcoin maxis. And here he's talking about not Bitcoin, but XRP. OK, I'm going to play this 20 seconds of this clip very fast. XRP Ledger is, you know, world leading uh, public blockchain, which was built for payments and issuing currencies. So it's a natural fit for CBDCs. We've taken that and basically providing a private version of that for the central banks. Something that's going to be absolutely critical for the success of CBDCs you know, and the adoption of them is the relationship between the public sector and the private sector. The government will not want to just use some regular public ledger. So it's good that XRP has designed a private ledger just for these banks and for the government. Now, crypto is all about decentralization, and I'm all for that. Guys, if we could flip a switch and take away all of the government's power over money, right? If you look at the past two years, how much inflation has happened because we printed more money in 2020 in the U.S. And then we printed in the past century. People don't understand basic economics. I have a bachelor's degree in economics. I'm a very, pardon me, burp, excuse me. I'm a very scuffed economist. I was not a great student, but I, I at least understand basic economics. When you print more dollars, your saving account dollars are worth less, right? People don't understand basic economics. And ideally, the government just gives the people control of everything. But guys, the Federal Reserve was created in 1910. The time to, to, the time to revolt against the government was like 80 years ago. And this is, this is going to sound pessimistic. I'm a very optimistic person, but I'm realistic too. These power players who control the whole world, it's not these presidents, it's not prime ministers, the people that control the world, we don't know their names. 
They live such a private life because they don't want to be known. They like to operate from behind the curtain. And they're not just going to give up control of the monetary supply. They need a solution that's kind of in between. And that's why a lot of people don't like XRP. Because it is a little bit less decentralized, right? And Plan B says, question, if XRP is so decentralized, how come central banks and governments like XRP so much for their CBDC? Central banks and governments control CBDCs. They set limits. They freeze accounts. And I don't think a central bank should be able to freeze your account. Imagine a world where all we have is digital currencies, right? And the government can choose where you can spend your currency. This is a very realistic potential in the future. And I don't think it's good. I'm not here for that. I think it's, it's good that people are waking up and, and, you know, pushing back against the government and saying people should be able to control their money. When the government prints more money in one year than they did in a century, that is robbing the middle class. People who are 65, 70 years old looking to retire and their 401ks are wrecked, absolutely wrecked, down 40%. Now these people are going to have to work more years and it's disgusting. I hate it. But this is the corrupt world we live in. And I'm not trying to be negative, but this is realism, right? Central banks will not just give up the power over the world that they do have. If you guys like my videos, hit the like button. It's free and it's the weekend. So if you can't hit the like button, then I don't know what you can do. And guys, not much is free at all in this world, let alone money. But you can get $41 guaranteed if you sign up with Webull and you have to deposit just a penny, just one cent, and you'll receive $41 in free stocks. You can get up to $15,000, but you usually only get $41 to $300. Invest the stocks, sell the stocks, withdraw, whatever you prefer, but don't miss this promotion. It does end soon. The link to Weebles in the video description below. All right, a great clip from Crypto Eerie. Shout out to her from Raul Paul. This is an ex Goldman Sachs executive talking about everything that's going on. My actual argument is, is Gary Gensler is he's been so busy saying we will fight you when you do wrong and he has not created a set of rules of which people need to abide by and everybody's been asking him and he's refused to do it and now you get this and I think you know if there's somebody who should get fired for this it's Gensler not because oh my god you didn't protect these individuals and it's all happened it's not about the retrospective it's like you failed to do your singular job, which is to regulate a space and everybody, all the industry, you know, Brian Armstrong, all of these people have been going to him endlessly saying, you need to do something about this. Even, you know, the uh, Brad Garling and the XRP Ripple guys have been saying you need a ruling because nobody can operate. And when nobody operates, the gray area happens. And, it's there. and when there's a gray area, these companies will not stay here. Does the U.S. want to give up their global economic superiority and regulate these people out of existence because ripple will just move to southeast asia ripple doesn't need the u.s but they do want to operate within here if they can if you guys are still watching i'm drinking a beer comment what you're drinking tonight maybe it's um wine maybe it's water uh, maybe it's milk but if you made it to the end of the video it supports the channel so comment below what you're drinking so i knew you made it to the end uh god bless you guys take care of yourselves take care of your families until next time